Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. Uh, one of my regular longest term viewers sent me a dream a week ago. And like I said, you know, I was really tired, so I wasn't doing too much of anything last week. But I want to read it tonight. And I want you guys to hear what she had to say. This was phenomenal. Now, this is from a sister name. Well, her code name is Believe. Believe. And she has been sending me dreams and she's just been a blessing to me. Mm. Here it's coming all down. Okay, so I want you to hear this. I'm tired, you guys. Just bear with me. <laughs> I'll get it done in a second. Okay. Hi, sis. Hope all is well. Wanted to share with you that I had a dream of, of this is what her dream was, of an invasion. Invasion. Not from aliens from outer space. So many dreams like this for so many years. I don't recall the whole dream, but they were taking houses away from homeowners and any other possessions they wanted to take. People did not have any say in the matter. What does that sound like to you? Okay. She's sharing it because she was wondering if any other followers <clears throat> have had any kind of dreams like that. Well, this is what I say about that, about that dream. God can change his mind. You know that. Now, if you don't know it, this is why we need to bear down and pray. Some of us need to fast and pray. You know how Joel says, he, he exhorts the leaders, the people, fast, call a solemn assembly, let the priests and the ministers weep, but weep, weep between the porch and the altar. I think, it's, I think it goes on to say, saying, spare thy people. Well, there's a brother on uh, YouTube that said that God spoke to him. And God said, tell the people to cry to me. If they want <clears throat> judge, if they want all this to be turned around, if they want to soften the blow, if they want to turn my hand away from pressing that wrath button, tell them to cry out to me. Now that's Pat's paraphrase of what God said. So don't, you know, get all offended by me going out all out into the woods to get what he said so you'll understand the, the yeah so listen in when god sent jonah hmm, round about you know through the whale's belly and all that but when god sent jonah to pronounce judgment on a on a nation the nation turned around they prayed they fasted they prayed and they obeyed and as a result God changed his mind and stayed the judgment. How much more would God do for us? When you look at Abraham asking God, Lord, uh, you know, if, if, you, if we had 10, no, excuse me, he said 50, started with 50, I believe. If we have 50 righteous people, 50 of your people, in, in Sodom and Gomorrah, would you destroy the whole city if there were 50, 50 uh, holy, righteous people? He's like, no, I wouldn't destroy it for 50. But then he worked his way all the way down to 10. Imagine what small number we need in this whole country for God to stay his judgment. For God to hold back his wrath. Think about it. That's why we are exhorted to pray. In 2 Chronicles 7, 14. And I quote. If my people who are called by my name. Will humble themselves and pray. And seek my face. 
and turn from their wicked ways. Then will I hear from heaven, forgive their sins, and will heal their land. Now, I don't know how much more needs to be said on that. But I tell you, God wants us to cry out to him. The effectual, fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. Are you willing? Are you willing to bear down in prayer? Are you willing to cry out? Are you willing to gird up under a, uh, to get up under a burden? You know, this country's in trouble. I don't know if you can see that. I don't know if you're aware of it. I don't know if you are even considering the possibility that America could come to an end. That it could be invaded. I don't know if you considered that. Because we've been the head honcho for so long. You know, we think our stuff don't stink. Bad English, but you get me. Let me tell you, baby. There's been so much treachery. There have been so many murders. So much blood on the hands of this country. Through slavery. Through the slaughter of the American Indians. Through the, I mean, it's just, the list just goes on. We need to pray to God for mercy. Mercy. 